Well, hello there, YouTube. Today, I am riding a 2014 Spider STS. I, uh, we do uh, alignments on all these things, and I think I know the reason why. It was kind of an odd thing, but I, uh, I got this guy off. And uh, he lives quite a ways away. Jeez, I, I, I think it's like almost 300 miles or something, he said. When he got home, he said the thing just felt really, really nervous. Kind of spooked him riding down the road. So, uh, nice day. They drive up, drove up yesterday. It was like 70 degrees here yesterday. It was awesome. Crazy. But uh, anyway came up here last night and brought it in this morning and I just rechecked it yeah it was off so I'm taking it for a test ride to see how she feels now these are kind of based on the uh, the sport platform the RS Roadster Sport but uh, they have a, a much more relaxed uh, seating and, and peg because of course this one's got floorboards but the uh, riding position is is basically halfway between the Sport and the uh, RT, the Roadster Tour. There uh, actually, it has that kind of a universal Japanese motorcycle kind of a feel to it. Feels like you could be sporty with it, but yet you know cruise for days on it and, and be perfectly happy. Wow, I didn't ride it before. Because I, uh, I worked on a, a gentleman that's, uh, he was a research analyst for, for BRP for the Can-Am Spiders when they were originally developing these things long before anybody, you know, the public knew anything about them. And uh, he came up, or came down from uh, Olympia and had his spider aligned yesterday. And, uh... I realized a, a weird thing that happened with with this one on the right right foot was the same as this. Essentially, what it was is uh, there was a buildup of of clear coat. You know, they paint and you know shave metal and do different things to the wheels, and then they clear coat out over them. And the hole where the I don't know why I'm explaining this. You'd have to know how the whole thing worked. But anyway, where the the laser goes in in through the wheel and magnetically attaches itself to the hub it was snagging or dragging against that uh, that clear coat build up of clear coat so with his you know I just reach in there and just kind of shaved it down a little bit it's just like a, a layer of plastic you're taking off I didn't have to cut down to the metal I didn't you know want to expose um, aluminum you know, and you know, 20 years down the road, the thing starts to oxidize or something. So, but anyway, uh, this was yesterday, and I, you know, I'm just not knowing what. I, I'm like, man, I, I know I had this thing right. It was absolutely right. And uh, after that happened to him, I remember the right front wheel on this one was doing the same thing. But you know, I kind of rocking the magnet back and forth, and. You know, it felt like it was laying on there straight. Uh, no, it wasn't. I mean, you're talking minor, minor amount off. But uh, it's enough. It, uh, the well, I knew something was wrong when my uh, toe end specs immediately um, were different. The, yeah, I'm like, what the hell's going on, you know? So I go back and, uh, and you know, I jot that stuff down, and my uh, my target was off on the right hand side. So really, my my toe and target was off. I'm like, oh good lord. So we learn things every day. I should have been suspicious of that. And what what forced me to be more suspicious with the uh, with the guy from BRP 
was that uh, I couldn't hardly get the, the laser hub to slide in at all. In fact, on one side, you know, I, I would literally get to a point I'd have to force it. Well, you know, this is a precision instrument. You don't need to be tweaking and banging or anything on that thing, you know. So, uh, I get to looking and I reach in there, I scrape a little bit, and I go, man, it just looks like clear coat built up on that thing. Sure as hell it was. And uh, so you just scrape a little bit of plastic away and just lightly scrape around the ring until doom, the target drops in without any any resistance whatsoever. I like that. A motorcycle guy didn't uh, didn't acknowledge me at all. This other thing is he's building up fog around his uh, in his gauge. I gotta take that son of a gun apart. It fogged up. Sometimes I don't know what happens in shipping, but I don't know if they're left in a real moisture environment. Of course, when these things were being shipping, that's when all that crazy snowstorms and everything was going on. But occasionally you get one that uh, has moisture in the dash, which, you know, it vents itself out when you ride it. That's no problem. But if there's enough moisture, it actually collects as a solid on the, on the inner face. And it leaves, a, I don't know if the camera won't pick this up, but it leaves a mark where the wetness was on the on the face of it. You gotta go in there and clean it off and wipe it with a an anti-fog material. Wow, these things downshift, the 2014s downshift by themselves much more easily than, uh, than they did previously. They're very sensitive. I like that. Before you had to had to bog them down pretty good, and they then they go whoa. This one, man, it immediately realizes you're in the wrong gear, and you roll on the throttle, and it just downshifts, just like a regular car would do. But before they didn't uh, they didn't do that. Man, this thing just handles perfect. Doesn't do anything anything weird. So, yeah, the alignment works, but it's, <laughs> it's only going to work when uh, when it's actually uh, giving you the correct information. That was this guy. You see how fast that guy in that truck was coming on? Kind of scared me because I, I thought he was going to switch into this lane and try to cut between those cars, and he, uh, he ended up out of my mirror there for a second. But I, I seen the nose of him out my peripheral. There's some little ruts and stuff here. You try to roll your wheels through it. Uh, this is absolutely the most incredible test route ever. There's parts of the road that, you know, in the summertime, when the black black top is hot, it'll, uh, that's me moving around, it's not the spider. I'm just, I'm trying to get into these uh, pavement imperfections to see if it does anything weird. But uh, where heavy vehicles go over and they actually sink in, you know them lovely little puddles that you hydroplane on in when, during the rainy season? Well, you drop a wheel into one of the, obviously a spider's not wide enough to, you know, fill a car track. Try something else here. She doesn't. See, I got a leaning road coming in and then a leaning back the other way. The level of the pavement. So you should have a very, very slight pull to the right on one side and a very slight pull, but an equal pull to the left on the other. I mean, that pavement, if you watch it when I came in, it's slightly this way and it's slightly this way. And if it just darts one way or the other, something screwball. I know it's not. I mean, this laser thing is absolutely foolproof. You do have to be anal. Apparently, I wasn't anal enough to... I, it just kind of surprises me I, that 
I didn't think about that thing fitting through that wheel a little snug, kiltering it off. I, I know I did because I kind of rocked it. I did it again and the magnets kind of make a distinct, like kind of a click or a thud when they land flat against the hub that's inside. And uh, shit, it wasn't. Only on one side it was. There's just a little bulge of that damn clear coat. Feel like a retard. Oh man. He just let go and she just goes straight as an arrow. So, they pull his dash off. I was thinking these things were easy to pull out. Looks like uh, <laughs> a lot more to it on these than they are the RS's. Or even the ST for that matter. But, we'll tackle, we'll conquer. I haven't had an ST uh, fog up before. The first one. It's a, the thing's sealed up tight, but there's vents in the back, you know, for pressures and whatnot. And if, you know, humidity, you know, temperature changes, you know, how it collects the things. Well, it's designed to get rid of those. And I don't know if it's just crazy extreme temperatures coming from Canada down here or, or what the case is, but every once in a while you get one that does it cleared up and never comes back. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for hanging out for a little test ride. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.